Hello and welcome to Ace Designs 107. I'm the Ace in the Card Pack and you're the Kings and Queens. Today what I have for you guys is a tutorial in Photoshop showing you how you can make this spillage effect. Now I think it's really cool what I've come up with. I've seen this effect used a couple of times, however there's no real tutorial out there to show you how to make this effect. So it's going to be really exciting to show you this effect and it doesn't require much time you could say so let's get straight into it but before we do that I'm gonna ask you guys to hit the like button on the tutorial I put in time and effort to make this tutorial happen for you guys and it would be really appreciated if you could do that for me it makes me motivated to make more videos and all the support that I've been getting on my channel is much appreciated what you have to do first of all is go down to the district district Description below, lol, that was such a fail, and download this pack. I've put this pack together so you can get plenty of free splatters, and I'm pretty sure that these splatters will not only be useful for this tutorial, but many other tutorials, or in just in general, making cool effects. I use these splatters very regularly in my own graphics pack, so I think that you'll really enjoy these splatters what I've provided. And I've provided more than enough for these guys to use. And they're all high definition, so it's really cool. So the first thing that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to File, New. And with this one, I'm gonna name the file Spill Effect. I'm gonna add in text between those. And for the width, I'm gonna do 1920. And for the height, I'm gonna do 1080p. And for the re resolution, I'm going to do 300 pixels. Now I'm going to press OK on my keyboard. And I'm going to fill in this background with a black. And the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my pack that I've provided. And I'm going to try out this um, pattern as a background. So I'm going to drag that onto my document. I'm going to press Control U for this one. And I'm going to bump down the saturation and the lightness both around 60, negative 65. Okay, so maybe I might change the color, like something like that. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. So the second thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press T on my keyboard. Now for this font, I'm gonna be using a white color and I'm gonna be using America Captain. You can find the download link for this font in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to type out the word milk. I'm going to press Control shift enter on that one. I'm going to press Control t and then I'm going to hold Shift and drag one of the corners out to resize. Then I'm going to press the check mark up on my toolbar, press Control a press V on my keyboard, and press the second and fifth icon. Press Control d Now, the second thing what you have to do is you're going to go down to the tool under the blur, so you're gonna go down to the blur tool under the paint bucket or the gradient tool, hold your mouse down and select the smudge tool. Now with your text tool selected, you're gonna press Control J and you're just going to keep this as a copy and you're gonna unhide it. Okay, so I'm gonna group these two layers together by pressing Control J and just do background for now. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a liquid spill so i'm going to bring in let's just say the first one so i'm going to press v on my keyboard and bring this into my document i'm going to press Control t and i'm going to resize it around here now for the text color i'm actually going to change the color from a white to something different so what i'm i'm just going to first of all position the spill 
And as you can see, I've positioned this bill a bit into the text. So you wanna position it into the text, something like that, not straight on top. And you're also gonna drop this below the text. Okay, so for the text, the color that I'll be using will be, I've had this noted down somewhere. Okay, let me just grab it up for these guys in a second. Made a screenshot. Okay, so I'm going to grab press T on my keyboard and I'm just gonna change the color while the text lay is selected, E01010. Now this is a great red, and I really do think that it really works with the spill color that I provided. Press OK. Now, obviously the splash color doesn't match the milk layer, so I'm gonna press Control U, and I'm just gonna bump up the saturation to something like a 49. And then it should work like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my smudge tool and I'm gonna change the the size of to around 15 and do check on sample or layers. Change the fifth the strength of it to around 50%. It doesn't have to be too strong, it just has to be something like that. You could do a hundred, that's fine, but I've worked with 50 in the preview. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my milk text layer. And I'm gonna click once, and then it's gonna bring up, do you wanna rasterize? You're gonna press okay, but make sure you have a copy of the text layer. And I'm gonna start smudging. So what you do is you just go around the corners and you start erasing. And what this is gonna do is it's literally gonna pull it down in the direction that what you're pulling, and it's gonna smudge it. So what I like to do is I like to find a corner where the paint spot is going, and I like to pull that crease in to make it look like the um, the paint spider is coming off the text, so something like that. Then press Control Zero to zoom back out, and we've done our first um, first paint splatter. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab up another paint splatter. So let's just say. This one, paint splatter 13. I'm gonna bring this one into my document, and I'm simply gonna do the same layout as this, and I'm just gonna show you how to really do it really quickly. Um, I don't even have to speed up the tutorial because of it's so it's such an easy effect, and I really do think it's really effective, and you can get really creative with this. Okay, something like that, and probably a little bit smaller, something like that should work. Okay, so with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it below my text layer, press Control U and change the color from a blue to a red, my slider. So if you're going to be using the same splatters, I'm going to be using 153 and I'm also going to bump up the saturation to plus 44. Now I'm going to press the smudge tool or press, wait, just let me find the hot key. It doesn't have a hot key. Huh, doesn't have a hotkey, that's a bit weird. Press OK to rasterize it, and then go to your milk layer, and then start smudging. Now, all you really have to do is just smudge the text layer. You can smudge the, um, the paint splatter layer, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you have to for your effect, that's fine. So I'm just gonna smudge it. And be a little bit careful, be a little bit considerate. Um, don't go like, obviously, down here because of it's gonna look like you've smudged it deliberately. You just wanna look like it's coming out of the text normally. Without Photoshop. Press zero and you've zoomed out. Now I've smudged that way too much. It really needs to be really light. So um, I'm gonna try to smudge that again by pressing Control Alt Z a bunch of times. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom back in and all I have to do is I just simply have to smudge in one crease and this one probably two, probably the little bit at top. Press Control Zero and I've done. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring in another splatter. So for this one I'm going to bring in this one, paint splatter 77. Press Control T right click and then do flip vertical and I'm going to add some on the bottom so it's going to add something like this and I'm going to resize this 
by holding shift and I'm going to continue resize that down and now I'm going to press my arrow keys make it not centered into the text something like that okay sweet so now I'm going to bring this layer below my milk layer I'll press my milk grab my smudge tool and start smudging now you can make your um, smudge a little bit larger if you need to in my case I do so And I'm also going to get rid of these corners because I really don't need those. So I'm going to right click and do Rasterize Layer. And you guys should know how to get rid of stuff that you don't need in Photoshop. Okay, so now I'm just going to start smudging. So I'm going to bring in those. I'm going to find in a milk one, and I'm just going to see where start smudging. Okay. See how I'm finding each crease and I'm bringing that in. It's really easy. Okay, that's enough. Press Control Zero, and I've got some smudges. Now, obviously, this doesn't match it perfectly, so I can press Control U, bring up the saturation a bit, something like that, plus two maybe. Bring in the hue, maybe like plus one. Press OK, and that looks a bit more closer to it. We'll grab my rectangle tool okay so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna add in another splash so let's just see this one I haven't tried using this one but what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna make it look like it's skimming off the text something like that okay now I'm gonna press Control U make sure it's below my text layer negative 40 bump up the saturation bump up the lightness bump up the saturation something like that that's the really closest that I could do and then I'm gonna grab my smudge tool and I'm gonna smudge the text with it Now if your smudge tool is too strong, just simply change the intensity or the strength and the size, also the size does have an impact. It's off the grey area and you can get it more fine with a smaller size obviously. So that looks something great and there's too many streaks so I'm going to smooth that down a little bit, press Ctrl U and then press Ctrl O a couple of times. Now obviously this effect can have many uses, like if you, if you zoom out, this can be simply a logo or something like that. And I wouldn't see, um, obviously if you zoom in, it's going to look like it's been smudged. And the reason for that is, you know, Photoshop can only do so much in such a little time. So yeah, okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make it look white. So all we have to do for this is... Um, I've just shown you how to do the basic effect. You can add in more splashes. That's it. So now you have to press Control J on that one. Control G, I mean. And then what you can do is you can go to Hue Saturation, add a hue, and drag that hue saturation into your new group so it will only affect that group. And you can apply, like, um, let's say, like a yellow or like a green or something. But what I found out is a light blue works the best by far. So if you worked with a reg originally, just drag it all the way to the edge. Light blue, light blue works the best for any color. So really light blue, I would really recommend to use. And with this background, uh, I don't want this to be affected by the hue saturation. Um, how can I not make it affected? Maybe drop a lock on it. I don't know. Maybe just press Control U on this and change the color. Okay, something like that. Okay, so hue saturation really works well with a light blue and that you get something really cool. But what you can also do is make it look like it's milk. So the only way to make this look like the spills are white is to add in a go to your adjustment layers and go to black and white. That's the only way you can really do it. Now bump down the red all the way, bump down the green. The cyan's is the main difference, so you're gonna bump up that and bump up the blue, something like that. 
Now, obviously, this paint spider on the top is not really working with me today. Um, just do something like that. And really mess around with all these. So you can do something like that. Do the yellows a little bit and the reds. So the reds on negative 200, the yellows on negative 200, the greens on 250, and the cyan's on 12, and the blues on 1112. Okay, so that really is going well for me, but this top splatter isn't going well, and look what happens when I take it away. It doesn't work. So lucky that we have a backup text layer, so if we bring that across, it's going to back it up like this. Now all we need to do is have that top layer. So if you grab up your rectangular marque tool, and I'm going to try and work up with the best way that I can do this. Just do it like that, go to your milk original one, do like that. Do like that. Do like that. And then if you go down to this one. Right click and do rasterize type. And I delete everything but the L. You have a backup L. So how great was that to have a backup L and we can continue adding splatters. So all you have to do is you can go to let's say this one. Press V on your keyboard, bring the splatter in. Press Control T. Right, right. Um, hold shift to resize it down bring it right down to something like this where you can right click and do flip vertically flip vertically something like that could even do something like coming off this little bit here but really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a coming off the L because if I wanted something like that so And see that like black and white adjustment layer really works well and that was the only way that I could find myself to make it look like it's black and white working with some colors in your um, background so I think if you really want to make it like a really neat spill effect um, I don't even know what I'm gonna name it either like a milk tutorial or something like that I don't know like I have no idea so I can merge these two text layers in together and then just go to smudge tool and smudge it all about Make sure that this splash is below the milk. Milk layer, so I'm gonna bring that in. Bring that in. And bring that in. Something like that. Okay, so that was really easy to do guys and at any time you can bring off that black and white Obviously, it's not gonna work because if I replace the L and that but it's really easy Make sure you keep up that backup copy. It always works in favor with you guys If you did like the tutorial make sure to hit that like button also to give me some feedback in the comments below telling me what you thought about the tutorial all the feedback really means the world to me i love to interact with you guys and i'll make sure that i'll comment and reply to all of those comments that you give me in the comments below thank you for your support on my channel that i've been getting like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day